What's up? I'm Pete Wentz, and if I had 48 hours in Chicago, this is where I would go. My first spot is the Shedd Aquarium. The Shedd Aquarium is an indoor public aquarium that opened in 1939. But what I love about the Shedd Aquarium is there's this little spot behind it that me and my friends used to skate. There's a little window right there that you can see dolphins and that kind of stuff for free. It's got like a great vibe for just hanging out at night with your friends and doing something that's low key and mostly legal. If you're by the Shedd Aquarium, you can check out my second spot, Lou Melnati's, which is this great pizza place. There's a raging debate about pizzas and what style is the best, but if you're in Chicago, there's not much of a debate because everybody likes Chicago-style pizza. Lou Melnati's is awesome. I played on their baseball team in Little League when I was a little guy. I was not very good at baseball, but I was great at eating pizza. I went to Lou Melnati's that was on the north side of Chicago. I grew up in the suburbs that are just north of the city, so that's the one that I would go to. So there's a lot of late night spots to eat in Chicago. The one that I found myself at a lot is Pick Me Up Cafe, which basically is breakfast at all times. You can get vegan options and gluten-free options, so like you don't feel so far away from Los Angeles. <laughs> but Pick Me Up Cafe, we actually featured it on the cover of our very first record, Evening Out With Your Girlfriend. If you want to see a little bit of Fall Out Boy history, you can stop by there. They have great vegan French toast. I would go to shows and then I would go here afterwards. Like you could go to the Metro, which is pretty close by, but there's a lot of venues that are close by there. The Fireside Bowl is a great spot that has probably like an illustrious history, but I don't care about any of that because I would just go to hardcore shows there and stage dive off the payphones. We would sneak down to the city when I was like 14 on the L and then take a bus across Fullerton and go to the Fireside Bowl and never tell our parents that we were in the city. So it was a little bit like Adventures in Babysitting without Thor or a Playboy model. Blackbird Restaurant is a place that I especially like. When I go to places like Blackbird, I try to go with my rich friends who pay for everything. Up next for me would be Wrigley Field, which is probably one of the greatest places to go in Chicago. I used to go there with my dad growing up and just sit in like kind of terrible seats. They weren't a great team, and then they were a great team. That's just kind of how sports work. They weren't a great team for like 100 years. <laughs> I think that the U.S. in general doesn't have a lot of like old stuff, especially when you get past the East Coast and where the colonies are. And so to go somewhere where there's something that's been preserved, but the culture still applies to how we live today is pretty awesome. I played Little League Baseball. Fortunately, none of our games were at Wrigley Field, but my band's playing Wrigley Field and I'm pretty excited about that. My final spot would be some place that's near and dear to my heart and my little suburb I grew up in. It's called the Chuck Wagon. They have this burger there called the Nicky Special, which is a cheeseburger with gyro meat on top of it that my friend Nick Poole said so was named after him. I don't think it was named after him, but it should have been. So let's get it renamed the Nick Poole Special. Chicago is an awesome city. I think that it benefits from kind of being a flyover area, you know, because the culture there is a little bit weird and doesn't feel as forced. I think also like where we grew up, kind of where every John Hughes movie is filmed. So it's kind of this like idyllic place to raise kids. But I think to me, it was like super boring as a teenager. So like it led to skateboarding and punk rock and that's kind of what made me. So I have a lot of love for the city. I just gave you the keys to Chicago, how I enjoy it. Don't put ketchup on your hot dogs. That's the only advice I have. <laughs>